energy in the form of heat and electricity is becoming more and more expansive. I have been trying for a long time to cover our energy needs as climate neutrally as possible with our own resources. We heat to a large extent with wood. The next step was to install a solar system that already covers most of our electricity consumption in summer. In order to produce enough electricity in winter and also to heat the rest of the house, I produced surprisingly large quantities of methane with a small biogas test plant. A Stirling cogeneration unit running on it can provide enough heat and electricity for the winter. Our solar system delivers 5 kW peak and with a 5 kWh battery storage it is sufficient for our own electricity requirements in summer. The inverter always feeds exactly as much power into our home grid as we are currently consuming. Surplus solar power charges the battery which takes over the power supply at night. If you put this together and set it up yourself, it is very cost efficient. A biogas powered combined heat and power plant is ideal for recharging the solar battery when there is not much sunshine. My biogas test plant with a substrate volume of 200 liters produces approximately 100 liters of purified biogas with just one bowl of kitchen waste per day and little effort. With a little more effort, this amount could certainly be doubled. Increasing the size of the digesters by a factor of 10 to 20 would not be too expensive and could cover our energy requirement all year round. A Stirling cogeneration unit would be ideal for supplying hot water, heating and electricity. A Stirling engine with its external combustion is insensitive to impurities in the biogas. If more energy is required, it can also be operated with wood or any other fuel. I have been increasing the output of my Stirling engines for years, but the 300 watts I have achieved so far are now here near enough. I am now faced with the decision of either significantly enlarging the Stirling engine or switching to an internal combustion engine and doing without the multi-fuel capability. Many thanks for watching.